What's up, cinema lovers, and welcome to another episode of Two Eye Cinemas. I am your host, Jerem. And here on Two Eye Cinemas, you know I like to give my opinion on some of the most popular pieces of cinema in the world. In today's episode, I'm going to be doing a run through and review of Hawkeye, Season 1, Episode 3, starring Haley Steinfeld, Jeremy Renner, and Florence Pugh. Now, let's get into it. Lopez interrogates Barton and Bishop about Ronan, who killed her father years prior. Barton manages to free himself and fend off the Chaixu Mafia, though Lopez breaks his hearing aid in the process. After Bishop is free, the pair escape using Barton's trick arrows and getting his hearing aid fixed. On that note, don't forget to check out our merch options provided by KLB Supply at klbsupply.com. Follow Two High Cinemas and KLB Supply on Twitter and Instagram at Two High Cinema and at KLB Supply. Now let's get back into it. While moving to another location, Lopez's lieutenant, Kazi, advises her not to get into trouble with her uncle. Intending to learn more about the tracks with Mafia as well as Duquesne, Bishop convinces Barton to infiltrate Eleanor's penthouse and use her company account to access Bishop Security's criminal database. However, Bishop is locked out of the system while attempting to bypass security while Barton encounters Duquesne, who threatens him with the Ronin sword. Okay, so now we're real. So now my likes on this one, um, this, was a, this was a pretty good episode. Like I like how they went with the backstory. Uh, the intro was dope, or how we get Echo's backstory, how we switched from us hearing everything, uh, like everyone talking to the sound fading, giving Echo's uh, perspective of the world. Uh, the scene in the karate class when we get introduced to Uncle, like, come on, we know who that is. We know that laugh. It's Vincent D'Onofrio's kingpin. We know that. We know who that is. Come on. That was a nice little subtle little touch right there, though. That was cool. The scene when Ronan killed Echo's father had me and my family. I ain't even gonna lie about that. The blood handprint he left on her face was straight out of the comic. And when she like paints her face to symbolize this. You know, like, yo, that was dope. We got that. The scene where Hawkeye got his hearing aid knocked out by Echo was just masterful. Like that whole fight scene was crazy. And then they just caught, boom, knocked it out, bam. Caught the little um, nice look at, yo. That whole scene was dope. Like just their fight, crazy. And Kate Bishop was really pulling her own in this episode. I'm not even gonna lie. The moves were more on some um, straight rumble in the Bronx-esque kind of like using her surroundings, especially with that like shopping cart. That definitely was like some rumble in the Bronx kind of. Like it was definitely was. Oh, the pen arrow was just amazing. Um, I really like the scene when Hawkeye's son calls and Clint doesn't have his hearing aid, but Kate writes everything down for him. That was nice. Like. That kind of like made me like Kate a little bit. I was like, okay, all right, that was dope. She did that. Cool. Dislikes. Some of the CGI was just a little too obvious. Like you could tell they had a, a budget when it came to the CGI and they spent it all on that pin arrow. It definitely did. Uh, the trick arrows. Oh, the trick arrows. We got a little taste, but I want more. Overall, a good episode. So now my grading. So now for comedy, I'm gonna go with mids, drama, dank, action, dank, horror, Reggie. And that was my run through and review of today's cinema. Click the like button, click the subscribe button, and comment below on today's video and what you would like for me to review next. And follow Two High Cinema on Instagram and Twitter at Two High Cinema. And for now, smoke you later.